Thanks for staying with us. This is Celebrity Friday. We had to discuss that important topic of Okada. Some of you feel like it was too serious, but it's essential because Lagos cares about you. But we have a celebrity with us today, Eniola Taiwo Florence Ajao. She's a famous Nigerian actor, <laughs> filmmaker, entrepreneur. She's beautiful, as you can see. You. A talented actress who's been nominated for Best Actress in Supporting Role in a Yoruba Language Movie at the 2015 Best of Nollywood Awards. She's also known for her dynamism and versatility in delivery of her roles on set. She's done over 75 movies. Oh, Welcome to the show, Eniola Ajao. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. As in, I don't know, how do you guys, when seven, you've done over 70 movies, for me that still feels like, are you, do you sleep on, do you live on sets? What's the work ethics? How tough has it been? Um, being an actress, producing movies back to back, I mean, acting and being on sets back to back enough to produce that body of work. How long have you been at this? Um, <laughs> it, has not, it has not been easy at all, you know. I've been in the industry for like um, 17 years now, wow. you know, but professionally from 2010. Okay. So I've produced like, um, I think about seven movies, but I've acted in several movies. So it has not been easy, but you just have to dedicate your time because of the passion, you know, and everything. So it has not been easy at all. But what are, what are, are the sacrifices you have, you had to make to have this body of work, to have made so many movies? Mm -hmm. What were the things that you were like, oh, I had to give this up. All my mates were doing it, but I had to give it up to do my work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> I studied accounting okay. in the university, but, you know, the passion of me wanting to be an actor, Mm. <laughs> so, so strong. Yes. Mm. So I had to like, well, let me leave accounting for Basically. what I really love to that's do. Wow. Yes. So that's why I'm, I've been us. dedicating my time to that. It's all about passion love for something, you. Yes. But you know, we cannot love something that is not earning. So how lucrative is this industry? <laughs> you went right there. Ah, I well, um, to the glory of God, um, we're not there yet, but. We are making it. We are living hey, fine. Yes, yes, yes. Like, uh -huh, we are doing well. doing well. Yes, maybe not as not as we know. expected, but mm -hmm. but it's coming. Mm -hmm. Coming. Well, yeah. It's not bad at all. So, can you, as an actor, survive on just the acting, or you have to do small, small businesses on mm -hmm. the side for those days that scripts don't come? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, um, like that's why you know we have um several um sections in the film making industry. You can be an actor, um, a filmmaker, like a producer. You can be a screenwriter, a makeup artist. You know, say we have career in the industry mm. that are doing well too. Mm. So even if acting is not coming forth, you're not making money from acting. You can be writing. You can as well make money from other things in the industry. Within the same. Mm. Yes. But when you're an actor, when you're known as an actor, and in between acting gigs, will you be able to just go and be a makeup artist? In that, mm. does it limit you, or does that mean you have to become maybe a producer and a director, or to mm. say, oh, I'm doing costume design and makeup artist? Mm. Would a an established actor want, to, want do to do that? that. Mm. No, I think um, if you're coming, in, everybody comes as you know. They have it in mind that they're coming to act. Mm. They want to be an actor. They want to be an actress. But at the end of the day, it doesn't work that way mm. for everybody. Because yes, everybody cannot be you know known. On the Everybody screens. cannot be seen on the screen, uh, on the screen rather. So we have so many people doing well behind the camera. Mm. They will, nobody will even tell you before. So you find you, your spot. Of course, you'll be like, ah, and I'm good in this, I'm good in that. So you start like picking it. How what? was it received when you dropped accounting for acting hmm. by your parents? Who, because we know um. <laughs> accounting was one of the. If you did not do law, accounting, engineering, mm. medicine, mm. no good. <laughs> it's school. money. So after you have done all of that in school, you now opted for acting. How did your parents receive it? And how uh, it my dad on? was against it before he died. So, um, but I made him understand that this is what I have passion for. Oh. You wanted me to study accounting, which I did. You wanted me to be an accountant, but dad, <laughs> I love acting. Oh. Oh. Yes, and he just you know left me to do. What, what, I, what I love to do. How was the journey getting into the movie industry? Because there are many people watching right now that mm. they are like you. They're like, I love acting, but I don't audition tired. Mm. <laughs> They've gone for several auditions. They've tried their best, and they seem not to be, they seem not to be getting it. How was your own penetration into the movie industry? Did, is that, was that, what, um, <coughs> did you try English before trying Yoruba? Mm. How was it? Um, I joined them professionally in 2004. 
Oh. But when they started, like, in fact, me, I mean, a I am, when I became a commercial actor was 2010. Wow, so six yeah. years. Yes, after. So it, it, it was not easy at all. Mm. Absolutely. Sorry it wasn't. to cut you. Can you explain to us what professionally and commercially means? <laughs> a professional actor and then commercial actor. What would that mean? Yes, you know, it's not where you join the industry that the film would come. Mm. Okay. So, yes, some 10 years, some 15 years, some 20 years. Wow. I, yes, I'm aware of a lot of people in this industry that they've been in there for like 30 Whatever. years and they are, non, they are not known yet. And they wow. keep pushing that one day they will be known. Mm. So, so I joined in, um, I mean, um, officially in 2004. Mm -hmm. So you I registered? Been, yes, I registered under um, Great Father Movies. So he is a producer, he's not an actor. Mm -hmm. So I went, you know, to school, studied and all of that. Mm -hmm. So when I came back in 2010, I was like, okay, this is what I really want to do. Mm -hmm. And I have to pursue it. So I started producing. So I joined um, Odona de Adicola group. Mm -hmm. And from then, God yeah, did his best on me. Yes. Does it matter what group? No, it doesn't really matter. Mm. Can you do it without being in a group? Well, it would take time before you are known. But if you are under a group that is already known, I think it's faster for faster you to, for you. Mm. you know, to be out there. Mm. So wow. the, there's something that baffles me. I'm a Yoruba <laughs> fan. In the film industry. <laughs> I come on Yoruba channel and we're just watching. I pick. I love to see a bit of history of areas. Just I find the history and areas and language interesting. But something baffles me. There's no beauty look in the Yoruba film, in the Yoruba film industry, as in majorly, 90% that is not toned, that does not have a fair skin. Is it that? Anymore. Yes. Not Why major. are we so apologetic? I know just a few. I can name she just did, a few. She's, I see her knuckles now. No. Her knuckles are not black. No, no, no. I'm not saying no. She's <laughs> different. <laughs> but she, she didn't bleach. She has the <laughs> specifics. Oh, okay. She was a dark-skinned person. Mm. It would have been easier. And why are we apologetic about our people and we are saying we're speaking our own, uh, shooting films in our own local language? Well, I think this is um, olden days um, stuff that people have to think that, okay, we are not light in complexion. Mm -hmm. um, you won't be camera friendly. Mm -hmm. You will stress mm -hmm. like you Yes. <laughs> so most times you tend to go for, you know, a lighter skinned person. But right now, in this age and time, Nothing of such is happening. Is that you are good? If you are good, you are good. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Is that you are black? You are in between, or you are light skin? They just go for you if you are good, or if you want to give them, or if you can give them what they want. Mm. But they used to light me specially because I am black. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. she's in the wait, industry wait, too. Wait, wait. Uh, bring that other light. I know. <laughs> I know it's my color, but exactly. We're the here. Camera most that, times. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But um, um, how do you get your stories? So you're into producing. Do you sit down and create your stories, then get a screenwriter? What's, what's the process like? Um, most times I write myself. Mm. Mm. I have writer's block, you know, I get a writer to write for me, depending on how I want to do it most times. But I feel like, oh, somebody tell me about the script. I'm like, I, I like this script. I just go for it. Mm. And I get it from the person. Mm. And you pay of for it. Yes, I pay for it. Of all the movies that you have been in, which is the most... Which, which of them are you most proud of? Um, all. all. Oh, but um, okay. let, mm -hmm. me say, let me say... Um, and why? The movie that brought me to limelight, which is, um, what's it called? Alani mm Kupamaleku, -hmm. a production of Odin Nadi Adekola. So it brought me to limelight. It brought me to limelight. So I think that is very challenging to be, um, to act an officer. Mm. I, do, I never had idea of, you know. And I think you do well. <laughs> they just say the movie. Yeah, I've seen you in a lot of time as a police officer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you seen that? But for those that did not know or haven't seen her in a movie, mm. let me show them. Let's show you what she looks like in your Jao in a movie setting. This is not Thank her real you. face, though. She has plenty of <laughs> action. Plenty of action, but let's see it oh. right now. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, In fact, Yes. 
and I'm one of them. Hmm? Ah, you know so daddy. Stop it, Jari. Ah. Okay, what are you going to do here? I like you. Ah, Shewa. It's so cool, so you now. This joke is too expensive. Stop it now. Come on, listen to me. See the way all of us just <laughs> were going to enter it too. You know. Yes. So we hear some conspiracy somethings inside the movie industry. Mm -hmm. That for you to do well in the Yoruba movie industry, you have to, you know, position yourself, prepare yourself from some spiritual angles. So that you are not shocked. attacked. On, that's what we hear. You are not attacked on set. You know, there's a lot of very tight competition among the yeah. women there and all that. Mm. In your that experience, have you noticed any of those? Well, um, I'm, not, I'm not aware of um, going extra to be the jazzy known. aspect. Yes, in the industry, but I think this is everywhere. Even out of the movie industry, you know, where you have um, places where sectors whereby people want to, I mean, people want to be like, ah, okay, this person is doing more than me. I have to do more than this mm -hmm. person, blah, blah, blah. But in movie industry, in this industry that I have, I think if you're, on your, if you're in your lane or you're on your lane and you feel nobody is superior more than you, I think you won't have to clash with anyone. Mm. Or you won't have to go extra or look for what is not. Mm. Yes, because everybody with their own destiny, you don't have mm. to do more than what you know you could you can put out there or you could put out there. Mm. Mm. So you're not looking for because I, I always feel like what you're not looking, what you don't see, what you don't do mm -hmm. you will not receive. Mm -hmm. So because I know once she asked that question, you were shocked at the question oh, itself, like shocked. this is not normal. But we've heard those stories before about spiritual attacks and things flying around while people are on set because it's you everywhere. feel like you're doing very well. I'm going to ask about this um, you know, there's this there's a story around Nolly Yoruba movie actors and you know, you hear um, comments about you saying, okay, you are in this troupe, you cannot work with that troupe, mm. or you hear stories mm -hmm. about clashing going on between mm -hmm. them, association of um, the Tampan. actors, not Tampan, uh, saying this person, we're not going to talk to this person, we're going to ban this person from movies. Mm -hmm. How do you believe the union should work in order to promote, and this is a platform just for you to say, what would you, what would you love to see in the union of Yoruba actors? Um, I think not even um, your uh, part of Nollywood alone. I think um, as a filmmaker or filmmakers, I feel we should come under one umbrella. Mm. I think it would help us a lot, you know, not you being tampan, being a GN, being this, being that. I think if we come together as, you know, a body, Nollywood in general, I think mm. it will be better for us. So they won't be like, oh, okay, I don't want to work with this person, I don't want to work with that person. Mm. So coming together, as a body would really help the industry. I have a question. So, um, hmm. um, with like Hollywood, we hear a lot when they interview their actors, and you know they talk about some of the trainings that they have to go to go through for the profession uh, profession in general, and then sometimes for a particular role, it will take them many months of um, training for that role before it's shot. Do we have that sort of um, system? in the Yoruba industry? Are there roles that you'd have to take months away to train to become that character before you go? Or is just, who's natural at this? Let's go. Um, I think there are roles that you have to, you know, take serious. You have to, you know, be taught for you to get what you really want to put out there. Mm. You understand? You want to, like, be a fighter in a movie. Mm. You understand? Yes, you have Train. to, you know, for you to look real, for you to come out real, mm. you need to get trained. You need mm. to get trained for that. So it's not easy to do a lot. Most roles in the industry, you just have to learn for mm. you to bring your best out. Okay, any new so things you're question? working on? Yes, I just finished my project, um, Beast of Two Words, at Jakaju. Which is coming to cinemas. Cinema. Yes. Awesome. That's a big one. <laughs> it it's a like big an epic movie. Yeah, it's an epic movie. <laughs> so 
Ajaka. 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 Beast of two words. Hmm. Oh, Ajaka. Ajaka. Beast of two words. So when is that coming scary? out? Um, we're looking at um December. Oh, yes. good. So is it a horror movie? Is it a scary? Is it drama? Is it comedy? A lot, a lot of things. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. It's a combination. Well, the combination well congratulations on it, and I'm sure everybody that is watching you now will be looking out for Thanks. for that when it comes to the cinemas. Yes. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you. That's all we can take on today's show. Um, thank you, ladies. It's been an amazing week. Yes. We can't wait for thank you this weekend. Me. We're going to be, <laughs> we're going to relax and be taken care of. Taken <laughs> care of. Thank you. For thank you. So we'll see you again next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye. Bye bye.